Hi guys, I'm back. So, what we're gonna do is uh, two spinning records and one in the usual colors that I like to use. Did add a little bit of gold and green and maybe a little bit of copper. Not sure yet, but the other one's gonna be a really bright color. It's gonna be this color. And, <laughs> oops, got my head stuck on the pin again. Sorry. Let's put it, yeah, that's better. So, let's do this again. Quinacridone. How's that? So it's Quinacridone Rosé, I think. Something like that. It's from uh, My Mary. It's the Italian uh, paint, so I'm not totally sure how that's going to work. So it's going to be a surprise. And, um, oh, I keep hitting my head against the iPad. I'm sorry. Okay. So this is good like that. Okay. I did put up a, a little bended the, 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 the little turn thing. But I don't think it's going to work. So I'm going to do one pour. And if it doesn't work, we'll see. I won't get too upset about it. So I am going to put all the colors in the cup. I'm going to start this time with a, a little bit of brown because that will come out last. Then put in the turquoise, which I love so much. And a little bit of copper, then a little bit of green, and the nice dark gold, then again for the contrast a little bit of brown, really little bit of yellow, and a little bit of orange. And then some brown again, hoping that's going to be a, a pretty mix. Then I'm going to give it a really small swirl, like that. Because I don't like those big patches of yellow and orange, so I'm hoping that's going to eliminate that. Looking in the cup, it's already looking really cute. Yes, it is. Okay, we're ready to do the pour. I hope I don't get caught on that thing. So, whoops. That's not going like I expected it to. Let's press it down a little bit. Nope, it's not working. Uh -oh. Because I didn't uh, put the sticky tape under there. So let's do that. So I guess that's something that you, you have to uh, take care of. A little bit of sticky tape so that the, uh, the record doesn't slip off. one more to be on the safe side. I just curl them up like that so they're sticky on both sides. Not the most handy thing to do with the gloves on but we got it covered. Just like that. Put it on there. That's better. Okay let's go. I think I got just enough. Ooh, like that one. Yep, all the sides are covered. That's good. Then let's go in there and give it a blast. Ooh, I'm really liking this one. And um, someone said on the uh, YouTube, you know, when you're done, done pouring, how about giving it another swing as to make these um, cells a little bigger. So let's just try that a little bit. Mm. 
did that do something? Not much. I think, um, <clears throat> I don't know, I think it, uh, the, this bucket has a disadvantage because you can't get, you know, under, so I could really swing it underneath. But then again, you know, it does avoid a lot of cleanup. And I really like this. And I'm thinking, may it now, I'm, I'm not going to be pouring any more on it because this is beautiful up here. I like this band of, of cells, and then this is awesome. So it is pretty. Just one more torch, get some bubbles out. That's it. It is beautiful, it is. I like it very much. Okay, let's keep it like this. I'm uh, sure it's going to be uh, the brown because you can see this is uh, even coming up as we speak. So we'll just leave it like this one and take it off here and put it somewhere. And now I have the next one. So we're going to put that on there. Press it down a bit. Oops, not centered. Got to center it a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. The next one. But I'm after this I'm pretty much done with these records though, you know. They're they're fun. And it's a nice thing to do, but you know, you can only do so many spinning records. I just might add a little bit of blue, or maybe not, maybe just a touch of brown, could do that, yep, maybe put blue in anyway. This is turquoise blue, just to give it a little bit of a zingy color. That's it. Okay. Oh, see, that's why I don't like this. <laughs> it goes, up, goes also always. Let's see. Pressing it down. Yeah, maybe that's cool. Who knows? Let's see what it did. Woo. Is it covered? Yes, it is. It is covered. Oh, a little bit there, but I can uh, tilt that. Let's see. Yep. Just a little bit. That's it. Um, am I liking? No, I don't like those colors. I don't, I don't know. <sighs> there we go. liking this one and that's a good thing because then I can make this one into the fruit bowl tomorrow I'll make sure that it's uh, dry and then I can make it into the fruit bowl yeah because uh, I think it's totally ugly and I can't imagine anyone saying wow that is cool looking love the colors no I think it's because I'm, I'm doing too much with the uh, metallics I'm a sucker for metallics, but you know it reacts uh, so differently in the in the paint. So maybe that is something that you're experiencing also. 
that the, um, the metallic doesn't come through as you expect. Uh, that's why I'm waiting for the um, the mica, and I think that will add a, a, a certain you know something to it because you just put it through your normal paints, and you know that the normal paint will react. I'm I'm still seeing it uh, you know move. You can see more cells popping up. You can see the white also giving more uh, of a lacing effect, but. Other than that, I'm not so fond about the colors. So, this is going to be the uh, the fruit bowl. The thing is, over here in Holland, uh, you know, we have some really weird temperatures and, and uh, weather conditions. Right now, it has rained all day, but it's pretty warm. So, you get that humid kind of a feeling when you're outside and inside, of course. So now I'm having a little trouble with getting stuff to dry. I'll show you. I did this yesterday uh, on Yupo, and it's still wet in the middle, and I've never had anything dry so slowly. I just don't understand it. Then we have the one I did yesterday, this one with the uh, yellow. It's uh, still uh, wet in the middle, so I don't want to take off the back and the push pins because um, I, st I still wanted to uh, see how it here it's still wet. So I don't want to do anything to it until it's totally dry. But maybe it's, oh, that could be because I did this. That's why maybe it's drying so slow, because I never do that normally. That could be. Okay. So this one is going to uh, go in the oven tomorrow, because you guys are asking me, you know, let us uh, see how you do that. And I will, because I got a really good uh, way to make uh, fruit bowls with... Um, you know, with the wavy uh, sides, and uh, I, when you see it, you're going to be thinking, oh, why didn't I think of that? It's so easy. So I'll take you guys down, show you close up. There you go. See how the yellow is still popping through, and the white is coming through. Up there, that is uh, that's cute, but it's just not the, my color. I don't really like it. It's it's weird though, isn't it? When you see other people use these colors, it's uh, you think, "Wow, that is beautiful. I'm gonna do that." But then you do it yourself, and it's totally ugly. <laughs> yeah. Well, then the other one uh, up close. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Look at that. That is pretty, isn't it? I really like this. And up here you have a bit which is beautiful. And there, that is beautiful. I'm really liking this one. It's like a, a tropical island, I I think. Where you see this shallow shallow sea. I think it's pretty. Okay, then one last look at the ones we did before this one. That's that one with all the spikes in it. And then we had this one with all the spatter in it. So I won't be doing that again because I don't really care for it. And I made a few little ones out of the drop-off. That's cute. And this one, I really love this one. So this is going to be my uh, last video for today. I'm gonna take a nice, long, warm bath. Don't don't uh, be troubled about my back pain, people, because it's the table is this table is very low, and when I'm uh, doing the art, I'm sort of hunched over, but I can't get it higher, or you guys won't be able to see anything, and uh, so I'll just have to. You know, just take it and shut up. <laughs> okay. So, 
it was fun talking to you guys today. Got some lovely emails, really. You guys are the best. So I'll put this on YouTube and wish you all a really great weekend. And I hope you all make some really beautiful art. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.